What's up guys, Tomah here, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Games. I don't know what map we're playing on right now, but my voice is gone. Just kidding, that's not my actual voice. I just like making that voice, because my boy Filthy Frank is my best friend. Okay, oh, oh, chest, yes, got you. Pants, run away and hope for the best. Oh, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Is anyone coming after me? No one's coming after me. Oh, okay, we're safe. Run, run. Oh gosh, you got a weapon. This girl got a weapon. This grill got a weapon. This, run, run. Uh, 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 ain't dealing with you. Ain't dealing with you. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're, we're pretty much safe enough now so i hope you guys are having a great day so far my day has been pretty ecstatic so far i woke up in the morning i was sort of feeling like feet p diddy so i went out the door grabbed my glasses and i didn't go to hit the city i actually went to go hit a place uh, a coffee shop that was nearby because i was really tired because you know i was feeling like p diddy so i you know uh i i, I gra grabbed myself some coffee i came back home i live streamed for three hours and now that that live stream's over it ended about 25 minutes ago i'm recording an sg for you guys today very eventful day i'm very productive in a way i mean i don't I wouldn't consider that productive. That's just a normal day for me. But, you know, maybe some normal days have productivity in them. I mean, whose normal day doesn't have some some small amount of productivity in them? Probably most people who go on the internet. But that's besides the point. Um, so we're recording this video right now. And I'm really excited about today because after I upload this video and probably about um, three hours from now, I'm going to go ahead and drive on down to L.A. because I'm going to a Modson concert. And if you guys don't know who Modson is, he's like a guy who does rap and stuff and he's really good uh he does like he calls it it's pretty much like a style called hippie hop uh because it's like it's like hippie music but it's like hip-hop and you, you see what it, it's like hippie and then hop you get hip-hop Oh, I, give me that bread back. Um, but yeah, and, and then I, I really like him. He's a really awesome guy. Uh, Jordan and Ryan already met him. Kevin met him already. Uh, and the cool thing is, is I met a friend through Jordan and Ryan. His name's KR, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I, you, heard, you heard me talk about him if you guys watch the other factions. But um, I met him through them, and then KR is like, hey, you want to come to the concert and go backstage for free the entire time? And I was like... Girl, what, what did you just say? You just, just say you get free free backstage for a Modson concert because he's touring with Modson, and I was like, yes, 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 yes. So uh, expect some, uh, you know, uh, just if you follow me on Twitter, expect some like you know selfies and some 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 me just pretty much fangirling quite a bit, and you could just imagine how excited I'm gonna be tonight. Uh, I'm gonna have myself a good time listening to music. It's actually my first concert. I've never been to a concert before, so uh, that's gonna be a, a new experience. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm very excited, and all that sort of stuff. And that's pretty much what's going on in my life. I mean, there's nothing really... Oh, why would they put a Tier 2 right there? I'm not questioning it because I got the items in it, but still, dangerous Tier 2. Uh, I mean, a weird place to put one. Anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm really, 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 really... Ooh, hello. Another per I guess a person died here and just lost all their stuff. I mean, left it, okay. I mean, not going to question it again. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, let me go ahead and just put this stuff on, get that sword. Okay, we can also make a diamond sword if we head back to Cornucopia and, you know, use one of those uh, crafting tables and stuffs. So, uh, I forgot what I was saying. So yeah, today's uh, an exciting day for me. I'm not really doing much but besides that, you know. Um, so, guys, I would like to throw it out there that I stream every day at noon Pacific Standard Time to 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you guys want to go. We don't get too many viewers, uh, mostly because I just started up again. But, um, you know, maybe you could tune in, tune in one of these times and come say hi and have ourselves a good time. And, you know, I, I stream cubes sometimes. Sometimes uh, I stream uh, Badline UHC, all that good, good sort of stuffs and whatnot. But um, anyway, let's go back to the cornucopia. Hopefully no one's here. Make myself a diamond sword and get ready to wreck people in their face holes. Okay, I did see a person in those bleachers over there. So I'm going to go ahead and just go here. Boom. Uh, do I have a stick? Yes, I do. I got really lucky. I have one there, there. Boom, boom, pow. That chick is jacking my style. We are now prepared to go ahead and fight everyone we need to fight. Let's see if we can find some people. How many people are left right now? We have 10 people playing, two people watching. I think we could do this. Uh, people just keep dropping all their stuff all over the place. Like I, I saw chain boots right there, the entire set of armor that I'm pretty much wearing, the tier two that's random. Well, actually, that wasn't just sitting there. I found it, but I'm being really lucky this game. Usually, I don't necessarily find too much stuff, and I have to kill people who have better things than me, and then work my way up for the win. But this time, I actually have a decent chest route, and I don't have to worry about that sort of thing. So that's always makes me exciting. Also, if you guys are wondering why I'm talking so much, like I do in my old videos, it's because once again, I am a caffeinated person right now. I'm on. I'm all hyped up on on the caffeines. The uh, the uh, uh, the coffees, I usually get a honey vanilla latte, and they're, like, really delicious. They're, like, 20-ounce drinks, and I get the large one. It's just, it's, oh, so, de it's so tasty. Seriously, you just gotta, if, if you ever come down to, like, the, uh, the LA Orange County area, which is where I live, uh, and you're in the city of, uh, Newport, which is not the actual city I live in, uh, you could go stop by a place called, called Keen Coffee, and they have delicious coffee. Don't say I sent you, because then they're gonna question who I am the next time I come in the door, because sometimes I wear my Tomahawk shirt, and they're like, so someone came in here and said they sent me here, and they said a Tomahawk sent me in here. Are you that person? I'm gonna be like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here for coffee, and then, uh, you feel really awkward every time I go to that store ever again, because then they'll always want to talk to me, and I'm like, I don't like talking to people, you know, it's just, it's very, you know, very awkward. I don't really know what to say. And then 
I start whispering into the microphone, and people start hearing me from really close up, and then you guys get creeped out. And it's like a, like ASMR type stuff, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop doing that. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got our fishing round. 25 minutes until the death match happens. I am unable to find anyone. Wait, did I, did I see someone down there? I don't know. It seems like a really small map, and yet you can't really find anyone in it. Uh, nine people alive. Gotta find someone, like, somewhere, right? Uh, let's climb up this ladder and see if we can find something. Also, enchantment table seems to be very easy to find on this map. You know, usually they on, like, certain maps, they have, like, enchantment tables that are impossible to find. But, uh, you know, here's a... Whoa! Whoa! You didn't see that happen. You didn't see that happen. You did not see me almost murder myself with a fishing rod. Don't... Don't talk about it, okay? I know you guys are leaving funny comments insulting me right now, but it's okay, because as long as no one's up here at the top of this mountain, I'm going to live. And then I'm going to regenerate to 10 hearts, and then we're going to kill someone, and hopefully maybe win the game. I don't even know. I don't even know what to talk about at this point. We can talk about time travel. I love time travel. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm literally pulling stuff on my butt right here. Um, so my favorite type of time travel is the same universe time travel. So there's two different major theories of time travel, guys. Or at least time travel when you go into the past. So the time travel idea is that there's a multiple universe theory, which means that you can't cause paradoxes um, because you create a new... Well, like, these are the only types of time travel that make sense. There's a third one that has time travel, but like paradox stuff, but we don't talk about the paradox stuff because paradoxes don't make sense. Um, right. So continuing on with what I was saying... Um, the uh, the non-paradox type stuff is awesome because there's two different major kinds. There's the same universe principle or the multiverse theory. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the multiverse theory because it's a little bit more simple. So every time you go back in time and you change an event to be a different way, uh, you create a new alternate universe that has that specific timeline. So like, let's say I decide to go back in time and kill my mom. It wouldn't be I, like I wouldn't cease to exist because of the fact that when I killed my mom, I just created a new universe in which I never existed. And since um, I came from a universe in which I did exist in my mother didn't die i technically didn't kill my exact mother i just killed um another universe's version of my mother if that makes uh, much sense to you guys that's the basic theory i like that one but i like the one better is uh i like the theory of the same universe theory but with uh paradox like canceling stuff so like the idea is that if time travel is possible and people have gone back in time um we wouldn't know it and um, unless they told us of course um uh, and the reason for that being is like, let's say I decided to go back in time to ensure, or like, let's say that um, if it wasn't for me, that George Washington never would have would have became president. He just wouldn't have. So what I decided to do is I go back in time to make George Washington president. And would you like look at like now is okay? We know that George Washington is president because we know that. Or like uh, a better way of explaining it is like if I go back in time and try to kill my uh, like Hitler, uh, I wouldn't be able to do it because we all know that Hitler killed himself in a bunker underneath a thing. Uh, and since that happened, like since okay, so. I can't, like, it's it's that you can't change the past because whatever you tried to do already happened. So, like, let's say at some point in my life, I decide I'm going to go back in time and I'm going to try to change stuff. Everything that I changed would already exist for me. So, like, if I wanted to, like, make, you know, um, let's say the, uh, the Seahawks win the Super Bowl, um, me right now would think that the Seahawks would have already won. So, like, any changes that you would make are changes that you would, uh, you wouldn't know about. So, like, someone could have gone back in time just now and changed the, uh, changed George Washington to be the president that we all know, and I wouldn't know it, because he already went back and did it. Um, that's, that's enough, uh, time travel rant for now. Let's go ahead and, uh, actually start fighting people in the game. Okay, so we have a slightly best, uh, not as good sword as this guy. Let me just go drop. Okay, I, I have a better sword than him, so that's always good. He's gonna shoot me with arrows, boy! Oh, I don't have a freaking. okay. Oh god, nope, nope, oh, oh wow, he's making some good damage. Okay, dodge the shot, dodge the shot, it's all good, it's all good, it's all Gucci. All Gucci, we gonna catch up. Oh, we got killed. Well, ripping pepperoni. Uh, QQ, duh, doesn't know how to say it right. Gosh, this, this underscore pirate guy, look at him, look at him, he said GG instead of QQ. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? Come on, come on, you don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, wrapping up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for, for it being a little bit short. I thought I was going to do a lot better, but I got wrecked by a guy who had uh, a better bow than me. Maybe we'll win next time. I feel like I'm starting to get better at this game. It's just a matter of sometimes I get unlucky and uh, I don't do good, or just sometimes I just suck like a person who's really bad, and that's what happened just now. So either way, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow on stream, maybe, or on a video. But I hope you guys have a nice day, please. <laughs>